In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a scale 3D replica of the Great Pyramid of Giza, also known as the Pyramid of Khufu because there's more than one pyramid at this location in Egypt, using CAD software in the computer. And in this case, we're going to be using SketchUp CAD software, which is a free download for Mac or Windows if you use SketchUp Make. So to do this, we're going to need a few things. We're going to need the SketchUp software, and we're going to need some dimensions, for example, the height and the base of the pyramid, and we're going to actually be showing the interior, such as is shown in this model right here. Here's a 3D model as well that shows the interior of the pyramid. So this is a much more useful thing to show the chambers and things inside of it and see how it was actually used and what it was laid out like rather than just seeing it as a basic geometric shape. So let's get started. First thing you're going to need to do is get some resources. Now you're going to need to find dimensions not just for the outside. If we just wanted to do the outside, I'll show you just how simple that is. We can go into our SketchUp software and the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and save it with Control S or File Save. And we'll go ahead and give this a good name. I'll just call it Great Pyramid. And I'll show you how easy it is to make a basic exterior of the pyramid. Then I'll show you how we're going to make the interior model for the pyramid. For an exterior, all we would need would be the base and the height. And we're going to use feet because the other website that we're going to use for our interior chambers is also giving measurements in feet. So we're going to do this all in the imperial system with feet. So it shows that the height of ancient times when it was first built was 481 feet tall. And the base was 756 feet by 756 feet. So we'll start with the base and then we'll build up to the height. We take our rectangle tool here and first let me just make sure you're aware of how to use the three basic tools for SketchUp. The orbit tool lets you change the camera view of where you're looking, which angle you're looking at. The pan tool changes your view point of by shifting things left to right or up or down and the zoom tool moves in or out to see things more closely. The middle mouse wheel is the easiest way to use the zoom tool. Wherever you're facing, wherever your arrow is pointing, you can zoom in or out on that point by rolling the mouse wheel up and down. The orbit tool you can get to by holding in the middle mouse wheel and moving it around, or by pressing O to switch over to it, but then you'll have to switch back out. And if you're on the orbit tool, you can press shift on a keyboard to switch to the pan tool, or you can hold in that middle mouse wheel and press the left mouse button to move around with the pan tool. So those are some quick shortcuts for being able to view things very easily. And you'll need to change your viewpoint as you work on things. Now we're going to switch over to the basic tool here, this rectangular shape. We can make a rectangle on this ground surface by just drawing right on the ground. And we hold in the mouse to do that. But we want to use exact dimensions. Notice the dimensions in the bottom right corner down here are changing as I draw this. We're going to draw to any size we want and then type in 756 feet, and apostrophe is the abbreviation for feet, then comma and the same length. So I did the width, comma, length, or length, comma, width, and then press enter. Notice I did not move down there and click on it. I just typed it in as soon as I drew the shape. If you click on anything else, the shape will no longer be selected, so make sure you type your dimensions as soon as you draw your shape. Now we have our base. So now we just need to pull it up to the height which is 481 feet. To do that, I'm using the push-pull tool here, which takes a flat surface and pulls it along an axis. And I'm going to do that 481 feet. So now I've got a cubic shape. There's a few ways to make it into a pyramid. I'm just going to show you this one way. Scale tool to scale this roof in, this top, so it's just a point in the middle. So to do that, we can press the letter S with it selected, or click on the Scale tool button up here and we're going to drag it in from a corner but you need to hold on the control key when you do this to make sure it scales all towards the center so as I move it in 0 0.01 enter and that doesn't scale it down to a complete point we can scale it in even further again 0 0.01 if we wanted to go all the way into a little point like that and there's our great pyramid now that's for the exterior. Not very interesting to just have a geometric shape like that. It would be a lot cooler to see the interior chambers. So I'm going to show you how to do that step next. Well, we want to make a base that's half of this original base, half in one direction. So we're going to slice it right down the middle here. So the first step is to go ahead and draw the base 756 feet, comma, half of that, which is 378 feet. Then we'll pull it up 481 feet again. And now we're going to move in the sides. This is going to be a little bit different this time. We're going to take our move tool here to move in one edge straight across until it lines up with the other edge. And then we'll take our pencil tool and we're going to move along this axis, this little line, until it snaps to a blue dot. That's the midpoint. We're going to go down to the side to the midpoint at the bottom as well. The reason I'm marking that midpoint is so we can take the move tool 
and move one corner into the midpoint over here and the other corner into the midpoint. And now we have half of that pyramid sliced down the middle. And I'll delete this little line here. So that's basically the second step. Now that we have half the pyramid, we have to start drawing the chambers inside. And there's a few ways to do that, but I'm going to show you a simple method if we already have an illustration in two dimensions, how we can do that.